What up, what up? This your man, Big B. I just wanted to talk to y'all for a second while I make my protein shake or whatever. You know, getting it in for the day. Uh, a friend asked me uh, a couple of days ago, like, man, like, I've been trying to track my calories. You know, I've been tracking my calories every day, but it's starting to get annoying. You know, and sometimes I feel like I'm not, you know, hitting it on point, being accurate with it as far as with the calories that he count. So uh, with that being said, you know, he asked me, do I always track my calories? And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes, like when I have a cheat day or something like that, I don't really track my calories. I like just, you know, just eat whatever I'm going to eat for that day. I try not to go too crazy with it, though. And, you know, I just go from there. But that's only like once a week or maybe twice in a week, depending on, you know, how I feel for that day. But uh, to just better answer this question, uh, no, you don't really have to track your calories. There's other ways you can go about, you know, losing weight, toning up, gaining muscle mass or whatever, depending on what you want to do, your lifestyle. Uh, with that being said, one of the things that you can do as far as like when you're not counting your calories, just portion out your meals. I'm trying to open this cap. You can just portion out your meals for the day. So like, let's just say like, uh, if you went to the gym or something like that on the Monday, let's you know what, let's just say if you go to the gym Monday through Friday, Saturdays and Sundays are your rest days. You don't work out on Saturdays and Sundays, or maybe you do a little bit of calisthenics or cardio or something like that, push-ups or jumping jacks. Um, throughout the whole week, I would say like you can eat like well four to five meals a day, depending on if you do a snack or whatever. Four to five meals a day if you do a snack, and um. Like I say, uh, just portion them out. So what I mean when I say portion them out, say like, okay, cool. If you wake up at like, let's just say nine, you go to work. For nine o'clock in the morning, have hey, you a little snack, a little protein bar, something like that. Then when 12 o'clock hit, have your lunch, whatever, you know, portion it out, nice size portion. Like the size of the palm of your hand or something like that, like your rice, some veggies and some meat. Then have your next meal around like 2.30, 3 o'clock. You know, don't go too heavy with it. Maybe have you a little fish, more vegetables, you know, a cup of carbs or something like that. You know, some baked mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, whatever you want. Then have your next meal around like 5, 30, 6 o'clock. Then if you want, at 6 o'clock, I would say that could be your biggest meal of the day. And then have another little snack, maybe some fruit or some more veggies around like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock before you go to bed. You know, you can portion them out like that. And as long as you put some green leafy vegetables in your diet... You know, as long as you being active, you doing, I don't, I don't, I don't even care if you don't even hit the weights. You don't even got to hit the weights. You don't even have to run. Let's just say if you don't like jogging, you can just walk. Get up in the morning, do some jumping jacks. You know, do a lot of walking when you off work. Walk to the park, walk to the store. You know, don't always hop in your car to go somewhere. Just be active. And as long as you're doing that, as long as you're portioning out your meals and you're not counting calories, you're still going to burn fat. And if you are working out with it, you're going to build muscle, which means you're going to put on more muscle mass. You're going to gain, you know, not fat, muscle. So either way it go, you can still burn fat. You can still lose weight. The number one thing is, it's just about, you know, consistency. You got to be consistent with what you're doing. So like, what I mean when I say consistency, like, don't just work out two days a week and eat healthy for two days. And then be like, all right, cool, the rest of the week I'm about to, you know, just go kill myself in the gym. It's pointless because two days a week just being healthy or four days a week just being healthy or four days a week just working out. Two days a week just, you know what I'm saying, not eating right. You're not going to put on no type of gains like that. You have to be consistent with what you're doing. So if you're going to work out, work out four to five days. Every day, don't slack with it. If you're going to eat right, eat right every day, but then pick one day out the week where you just want to pig out. So you have to be consistent with what you're doing, you know, because if you slack for like just say three days and then the rest of the days you eat healthy, that's not going to help you. Or if you just work out for two days, then the rest of the days you ain't doing nothing, you just eat like a pig, that's not going to help you. If you're going to work out, you got to work out every other day or every day. If you're going to eat right, you got to eat right every day. Not just one day, not just two days. you got to eat right every day. So uh, with just those tips, I just wanted to better answer this question and, you know, just tell them that basically, you know, you don't have to count your calories because I know it can be annoying at times if you're out of a restaurant. You're looking at everything on that menu, and a lot of the times the stuff that you see on the menu with the calories that they have for the nutrition facts don't always be accurate. 
So, uh, no, you don't have to count your calories, but I would say just portion out your meals and be active. You have to be active. Don't just sit around all day sitting on the couch, laying in the bed, whatever you're doing, get up. I don't care if you don't have to work. If you don't have to work, that's even better. Work out. Jumping jacks. Girly push-ups. If you can't do the full body push-ups, do girly push-ups on your knees. Just be active. Try your best to eat right. Try your best to stay focused. So, with that being said, you know, I'm going to sign out right here. I'll let you, man. This is Big B. Deuces.